What's up, Bass Babe? It's your girl Joy back with another banga. <sighs> I am in the new place. We are not officially in. Um, just moving things in little by little and trying to figure out where I want everything to go. I have a lot of decorative pieces, so it's just like, where are they gonna fit in this house? And it's taking on a different personality. But as I'm bringing things in, I see I'm like, okay, it's coming along, it's coming along. So I'm looking forward to showing you, I guess, the furnished tour. So I would say I'll give it a week. I know what my classroom, if you have not seen my classroom, <laughs> I kind of showed you guys every step of the way. <laughs> I'll show you, nope, you guys gonna have to wait. <laughs> you can kind of see one little thing over there. No, let me, no, y'all can kind of see it. <laughs> let me move over here. <laughs> no, so I don't know if things are gonna stay where they are. I don't know. So we're going to be moving in next week only because the kids had a lot to do and all the people that can help me are not available until next week. So I've just been making little trips in my car and bringing over all the decorative pieces and trying to figure out where they're gonna go. And the owner of this place, she insisted on paying her guy to hang up my curtain rods, which is gonna be great. Cause there are certain things you procrastinate on. So, and that probably would have been one of them. And to hang a huge mirror. And because I'm downsizing, um, I had to squeeze a lot of things in. So it is, it's gonna be tight, just like my classroom. <laughs> but it is what it is, it's starting to come to life. And I love curtains. So once the curtains are up, I think it's gonna really, really look good. I don't know if I could wait for, yeah. I say give me another week because I'm not buying anything. I don't have the coins for that. Um, so just give me a, a week <laughs> until we get everything settled and moved in. So I don't know when I'm gonna get this video up, but as of today, it's Sunday. So a week from today, um, we should be doing the furnished house tour. So just transferring the stuff from the old house to this house and see how it all comes together. And I want to play with wallpaper. She said I can paint a wall, um, but I have to get the color approved. I don't want to do that. But I might, I might play with some wallpaper. I've seen that. So if you're in an apartment or rental and they say you can't paint, you can put up removable wallpaper and that's an option. So I may, I may toy with that idea. So I'm really excited about that. And I did bring over my little guy. He, he follows me wherever I go. And I brought over, I did bring this over. This was in the other house. And I brought that over. And I brought my little KitchenAid. So, <laughs> that's all I have for now. Y'all gotta wait. I'm always so excited that I end up telling y'all anyway or showing you the stuff. Nope, not this time. And my patio set, it barely fit so my girlfriend came over um she was like i will help you i will help you i'm like no and then i like the next day i'm like okay you you can help me <laughs> so she helped me bring over my um what did she help she helped me bring over my patio set and all my plants and she helped me place them where they belong so now she's getting ready to go with her family <laughs> And um, cause she she um, just moved with her her family to a new house too, so I was like, okay, thank you, <laughs> we appreciate it. So she's like, anytime. So it was nice um, to have to help my neighbor even offer to help. I was like, well, my other friend is coming over, so we're just gonna knock it out. And she was like, where are your kids? <laughs> I was like, well, one went to the hospital to with a friend. The other one is studying, and the other one, Lord Jesus. Okay, I think I'm gonna end the video here. <laughs> but I, um, I don't, let me see if I can set this down because this is getting on my nerves. Yeah, I'm not wearing much makeup today. I put my eyelashes though. I did do that. Okay. Um, so I did, I was feeling a little down today. And 
I couldn't pinpoint why. Like I, like I, like I almost wanted to cry. I was at the, the old house. <laughs> and I couldn't pinpoint why. And usually when I get down or sad or depressed, I could pinpoint why. But I just could not. And those of you who know, some of you know, and if I'm telling it, I'm telling it. Um, I suffer from bouts of depression. I've suffered from depression since high school. I remember specifically, um, I was aware of it, high school. High school was everything to me. And it was like, when high school stopped, I was like, okay, what do I do now? <laughs> high school was some of the best years of my life. And so I realized the depression. And so I've managed with medication on and off for years and then I've learned to cope on my own. But there are certain times when I know I need to get help. That's why I'm pro-medication, okay? So, you know, if you're out there and you suffer from depression and anxiety, go get you some help. Sometimes we need a little help. And, and you know, people are like, oh, I'm gonna go to church, I'm gonna pray to God, that works. But take your tail to the guard that created the doctor that can help you, but go get you some help. No need to suffer by yourself. And I would say, when I was going through the house, losing the house, the demise of the relationship, I was in a really dark place. And, um, but I will tell you this, I've been medication free, but I know the signs of when I'm going down. And sometimes I will give myself permission to be sad for 24 hours, no more than 24 hours. And not everybody can do this. This is me, I've learned to manage. I've, I've been living with it for more than half my life, more than half my life. So um, uh, I learned to manage. Sometimes I can't crawl out of a hole and then I know I need to get help. That's when I know, I'm like, Joy, you've been, but I know I'm in the hole. I'm like, Joy, you've been in this hole a little long. It's not good. You need to go get you some help. And then I go get me some help. But that doesn't happen very often. But when I need the help, I go. I make me an appointment, okay? So, um, but this morning, I could not explain it. I was like, Joy, what is wrong? What's the matter? And I was like, well, is it because you walk out in the living room and then the house is looking empty? And I was like, maybe that's making you sad, you know, closing this chapter, leaving your house. I was like, I don't know. I, I just couldn't figure it out. But what works for me, um, and I've been doing it since high school. It's something that, that I've been doing. What works for someone else, you have to do what works for you. But for me, um, running has always been therapeutic for me. And um, so I've been running since high school, but I kind of took a hiatus for 10 years. <laughs> so um, I start running again and my spirit has been lifted. My energy level has been lifted and I didn't run yesterday so i didn't run saturday today is sunday i didn't run so i was like i took a day off because my foot is hurting so i was like what is it so i was like joy i don't have time for you to be sad not today not today and so i've learned to psych myself out too i've learned to psych, psych myself out so i put on my sneakers i got on a treadmill i was good i feel like i took a dose of medicine because what happens your body releases endorphins and they're the happy endorphins and whatever is released in your body in your brain okay it makes you feel good it makes you feel energetic i don't know what's released the endorphins the happy the serums or whatever but they have always worked for me and i tell you i was on the treadmill not doing anything intense but i i got my workout in and did a few little extra things and i feel better i still feel it a little bit but I feel much better because I was like, no, I don't have time. I don't have time to be laid out. Sometimes I don't have time for that, okay? I have things I want to accomplish. And let me tell you, some people who suffer from depression, it will lay them out. But me, I fight it. I was like, no, you're not winning today. <laughs> so I was texting my friend. I was like, I was like, no, freak that. I use some other choice words. <laughs> I was like, freak that. Not, I'm not doing it today, no put my clothes on, got on that treadmill, and I was getting it. And I tell you, I started to feel better. So now that I'm here in the house, the new house, um, and I see how it's starting to come together, because we made a couple of trips today, um, starting to feel a little better about the transition, but Hansi, I know when I close that door at the old house, <laughs> it's gonna hit me. I know it is. But new beginnings, looking forward to it it's like every day is a little present i never know what i'm gonna get it really is it's awesome 
So I'm going to an event right now just for a little while because I have some editing and I have papers to grade. If you have not seen my classroom, I highly, highly suggest you head on over and check out my classroom tour. It is amazing. It really is. Well, I think it is. I think so. <laughs> so I'll leave a link to that in the description box below. And I am so excited and I cannot wait to show you the um, new house, furnished house tour. But once again, it's stuff that I already have. I can't afford to buy anything for the new house. <laughs> um, no, I can't afford anything. I kind of want to get a few little items. It's going to have to wait, okay? <laughs> but I have so much stuff, it's crazy. My mom downsizing, so I have more than enough stuff for, for this townhouse. But it's coming along very, very nice, and I'm very excited how it's turning out. So, and um, and I just wanted to thank you guys for all your love, your kindness. How much time? Oh, I've been like, okay, I haven't been, because I'll talk to y'all to death. I want you to know I'll talk to you to death. And I want to thank you guys for all the love and kindness that you've shown me. And I was explain it to someone the other day um last night it was up to three four in the morning texting one of my friends i don't know she was like why are you awake i was like i was going to the bathroom <laughs> and we just started chatting and i was saying that um how special you guys are to me because at one point my bucket wasn't being filled I could fill other people's buckets, but nobody was filling my bucket. They always expected the joy, the joy. And I was like, my subscribers started to fill my bucket. And when I say I love you guys and I appreciate you guys, I really do. And I was like, you, you guys really made me feel special. I mean, really, really feel special. Oh God. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> And I want to say thank you because although you guys didn't know everything that I was going through, you helped me more than you know. You made me feel special even when I was sad and battling, you know, my own internal demons. You know, all the gifts and the positive words for the classroom. You guys really, really made me feel special and it helped me get through one of the toughest times of my life. Complete strangers. And I wanna say thank you. Cause sometimes you don't always know the whole story. Okay, that's the joy. <laughs> so, I just wanted to say thank you that you helped me you know, it was with, you know, your donations, with your comments, with your positive words of encouragement. And, you know, I'm always considered the strong one, the strong one. I'm not always strong. I have my weak moments, okay? But, you know, sometimes I may not let you know I'm, I'm weak. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah. Then soon as I get to my room. <laughs> but, anyway, thank you. I'll talk to y'all in depth. I have somewhere to go. <laughs> Thank you. I love you as I go on this new journey. I'm excited because it's just, I don't know what's going to happen next. I don't know what gifts that are in store for me. I don't know. I just don't know and I'm excited. It's like I wake up and think, what's going to happen today? What's going to happen today? I just don't know. So, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just looking forward to the future and the great things to come all right i'll stay on here forever i love you thank you